Hey guys, this is Jessica Rideau here at Reverb, and today I'm going to be breaking down one of my grooves that I posted on Instagram, and one of you started calling the Jaybird. So the Jaybird is going to be a 7-8 groove, and it's going to be a combination of singles and doubles between the floor tom, the kick drum, and the snare. So when I came up with this groove, I was trying to think of ways to make my floor tom and my kick drum sound like a double bass when put together. And so with that being said, um, I tried to experiment with different combinations and play them at a speed that would give that effect. I'm going to go ahead and play this groove for you, and then after that I will break it down. So to start, I think it's easiest to approach the snare pattern and see how that fits into the groove. What's easiest for me is to keep my hi-hat going through the groove and play everything over that so you could really hear the phrasing of the beat. Or I think it's also helpful if you want to hold the beat down on the floor tom just to practice. That's helpful too. So let's just look at that first chunk of the snare part. All it is is this. So if you could get that much holding down either the hi-hat or the floor tom, or you don't have to use that at all. But for me, that's just a helpful tool. So that little chunk, and that's it. So then after that, you're gonna add the next three snare pops, or pop pops is what I've been calling them. So the next few pop pops you're gonna add are those three at the end of the groove, which this is where holding down either a, a pulse on the hi-hat or the floor tom is gonna be really helpful. So it should sound like this. Okay, so that's what your snare drum is gonna be doing throughout the groove. Now, I still recommend keeping your left foot going if you can while you're figuring this groove out because it's really gonna help signal where everything is landing in the groove. So then you wanna start adding the floor tom in. So for this groove, it's gonna require single pedal doubles. If that's not something you've practiced much, I would recommend working on just playing your doubles between your floor tom and your kick drum. So once again, I think it's a very helpful tool to keep the hi-hat going. It really helps you lock in your time. If you're not ready for that, I would just practice between these two with a metronome. So that should sound something like this. So now if that's difficult for you, I would spend a little bit more time on that before adding the next parts of the groove. So for the first half of the groove, you already know what your snare drum pattern will sound like. Now let's hear how that sounds when you lock it in with the doubles. So the way these two are going to fit together will be something like this. So you saw that my hand pattern changed a little bit to fill in the spaces of the pop pops or the accents with my left hand. Again. And just that little hand pattern right there is. So you can hear how the double is bringing that groove back around on the floor tom. To help you get to the next part of it. 
So the next part of this groove is gonna start with a double on the kick drum. That's gonna help turn it back around and get you to the end of the phrase, but it's gonna feel a little funny at first. So it's gonna sound like this. And the hands at that part are actually pretty simple. So all you have to do is fill in the space on the floor tom. There's no doubles on that one. So again, the kick drum on the second half will begin with a double, followed by single hits on the floor tom and the snare. So all together, Okay, so now all together with the hi-hat at a slow tempo. All right, you guys, that was the beat at a slower tempo. Uh, it's great for practicing single pedal doubles as well as independence. And once you get more comfortable with all of those parts, you could start looking at speeding it up to impress your friends. <laughs> so here is the beat at a slightly faster tempo than what we were just doing before. Okay, now we're gonna speed it up even more. I usually like to play this around the tempo of 150, but you could play it as fast or as slow as you'd like. fastest I've ever played it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's the groove. I hope you enjoyed it. But the main lesson here is to just get creative with your beats, have fun, try different things, and see what you come up with. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.